back to my channel in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to make an eyelet eyelet o how to do it manually without using the machine if you don't have the machine you can always try this method so watch to the end and learn something new today so the things i'll be using is my this three in one eyelet pack i'll be using the biggest one for making the holes i'll be using my scissors armor and the eyelet pins i have I'm using the middle size, like the tiny ones, but I'm using the size. So let's get into the tutorial. I have made on the left side already. I just want to use the right side for the um, tutorial. So I made like eight um eyelets holes on the left. I'm making the same thing, and it has to be equal. The holes have to be equal, facing each other. So I'm using this my eyelet to open to make the holes. You can just look for like choose the whole size. The big one was too hard for me to press. I'm just using like the medium size. So you just make, press it together, then you just force to press it down like this. You can make the holes down from the top to bottom before you start working on them. So I'm just trying to make my holes one by one till the end. Just to do once and for all. So now I am done with that. I'm trying to make it too calm. I'm done with that and this is how it looks like. Mind you, this hole is small. So I have to do it myself. It's better for the hole to be small than for it to be too big. Bigger than the size of this um, eyelet I'm using. So I'm going to be using my scissors to expand it. I didn't want to use the big size because one, it was so hard for me. And two, it's better for it to be small than you open it yourself than for it to be too big and you, there's nothing you can do about it. You can't close it. So you just use your scissors to like increase the O. Then try and see if it will fit. So yes, it can fit. And now I'm going to make the second part. So just fix it in and make the eyelet come out at the other side, at the back of the fabric. So now you're going to use the second part because they come together, they come with this up and bottom. This part, you're going to put it on it like this, that hole. This one is used to hold the eyelid down. Like this. The next thing you're going to do is to take your sharp scissors. Your scissors has a sharp mouth. Then puncture like, open it small, small, like small, small space between them. This is a sharp scissors because you use a blunt scissors that can stress you so you just get your sharp scissors and make openings like this around so now i've made my own opening then you press it down use the tip of your scissors those, those parts you open use your scissors to press them down this is a very very simple method. It might just look hard, but when you start doing it, you'll be like, oh, okay. You can always do it at home and at the comfort of your own instead of if you don't have the machine instead of taking it out. So I'm just pressing it down round. And I'm done. This is how it is looking. So now you just take your arm out to like softly, gently press it down so it won't affect the back just gently use it to hold them down together and gently use your armor to eat it down and we're done that is how simple it is very easy to make your eyelid oh very very easy so you're going to do this same this same method throughout so I'll just try to make a second one for like better understanding. I'm just trying to fix the same old, the same process I did the first time. I'm just doing it again. Put your second part on it. Then use your scissors to make little cuttings at the edge of that eyelid that came out. So it's just the same exact process, you press them down with your scissors to the sides 
and use your armor to gently tap them down together gently so it won't affect the other side i'm using the armor to make it stay well so this is how it looks like and you can just continue the same process throughout up to down i hope this video was helpful and you learned something new today so please subscribe to my channel like give this video a thumbs up drop a comment thank you